I'm Steve Bell from the British Association of Anger Management and today we're going to talk to Amanda who is a trainee on our Anger Academy course uh, creating the next generation of anger management coaches. Hey Amanda and thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Amanda. I grew up uh, in, my parents are originally from London, but I grew up abroad in Belgium and Switzerland. And I currently live in Switzerland right now. I'm just on holiday in Spain. And the reason I decided to, to um, join the academy was firstly because I did the course myself. I did the Beating Anger course. And the reason I decided to do the Beating Anger course originally was because I work with children in, with special needs. Um, in uh, an earlier school, I've been doing that for about 11 years now, um, uh, having got myself an a undergraduate degree, so a degree in psychology and a master's in psychology. And so when I first started working with, with children with special needs, it was a lot, you know, I was working with children with uh, dyslexia or ADHD or learning difficulties or even on the autism spectrum. And more and more as the years were going on, I found myself working more and more with children with behavioral difficulties and increasingly with anger. And so I thought I needed to add some tools to my basket. And so I did the Beating Anger course originally to learn how to help these children with uh, anger issues. The only thing was when I got on the course, I discovered I had some anger issues myself and quite a lot of them. And uh, found it very beneficial for me to do the course to, to learn how to deal with my own anger issues before trying to help anyone else. Um, I found the beating anger course so effective and so life transforming mm. that I decided I would like to become an anger management facilitator myself and have become very increasingly passionate about uh, this, this area of my work. And I'm finding it so, so useful working with these small children. Well, there's, there's quite a bit to unpack there. So firstly, you've got, I mean, you've obviously sort of been around this particular psychological sector a lot with your work. What was there in particular about the BAM Anger Management Programme that stood out, not just in terms of anger management programmes, but in terms of coaching, therapy, counselling, programmes in general? Yeah, well, I think what, what I like especially about it is that it's psychoeducational. So you're not, you know, psycho, psychoanalyzing people and, and trying to help them in that way, but you're trying to teach them to give them tools that they can use in, in their life. And not only about, you know, uh, to, do, to deal with anger, but they're, they're, they're basically life skills, which are super necessary in today's society, um, you know, such as resilience or you know, self-esteem and all, all these things connected around anger. I mean, anger is, is the core, but, but the things you learn on the course and the things that we teach as facilitators are, are just so useful in so many areas of your life. And I've noticed in, in my life, as well as in my work, it, it, it's just pervasive. I feel like it's been life-changing for me um, to both having done the course and training to be a facilitator, because as you train also to be a facilitator, you learn a lot about yourself. And in order to help other people, you have to know yourself inside out and, and learn, uh, having learned yourself how to, to improve your well-being, you can help others to improve their well-being. It just, it just makes it so, so it, it's nearly easy, if I can say that, that I feel like what we've learned is, is easy to pass on that knowledge and, and to help other people to be able to help themselves, which, which means that we'll be spreading you know, uh, exponentially, because then people will be helping people in their family or their friends, and so on and so forth. And more and more people will become either comfortable with their anger or comfortable with their emotions in general and their life. So it's interesting there that you mentioned facilitation, because on the Anger Academy course, we don't just teach the you know the material. There's also modules about aspects of working as an anger management coach, like group facilitation, like marketing. You'll be pleased to know that I'll be presenting a brand marketing module next Wednesday, I believe. And 
so how did, how did you find how did you find it and how easy was it to adapt to to these other skill sets that you're going to need if you're going to go out and achieve the things you were just talking about well i think that that my background helped me a lot um i've also done other jobs you know i've worked in the un in in the press office there for about 20 years so communications was already you know a skill i had acquired also worked as a chef in my early days and in advertising. And, and, and I think all, all your life experiences you do bring to your work. Um, I think facilitating groups was, was actually an, was interesting because, well, when I work with the children, I often work in small groups. So working in groups is, is, is not an issue. But facilitating, it, I feel like it's really like putting yourself out there, putting your personality into your work, just in, in, in a similar way to teaching. But, um, you know, allowing yourself to be vulnerable and telling your stories to help other people to, to feel comfortable, to feel vulnerable, to be able to be vulnerable and to express themselves. Um, and I think a, a lot of the skills we learned on the course, we, you know, we learned it theoretically, but then we got opportunities to practice it by, by shadowing Mike, which I think for me, I'm, I'm someone who learns more by doing something and so, you know, having the practice of, of, of facilitating in a live context with, you know, either the whole group presenting different aspects of the course or, you know, doing the check-in or the check-out or even a meeting with individuals from the course to discuss, you know, uh, maybe a, a lesson they'd missed or, or uh, an aspect of the course they didn't understand or, or, or a process that they wanted to practice. All these bits of, of putting into practice what we've learned theoretically, you know, has helped me to feel comfortable about embarking on this career, definitely. And how did you find the client group from the other side uh, of the fence? What was your experience of them as a facilitator? As a when, 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 I, when, I was a cli when I was a client or a facilitator? When you were a facilitator, a facilitator. Well, you, by all yeah, means talk about the difference between the two. Well, the thing is, and a lot of people say this when they come on the course, it's quite funny, you know, you come on the course and you think you're going to meet, a, you know, a whole bunch of really angry people in the middle of a rage, but actually they're just, you know, normal human beings like you and me. And um, so when I, when, I, when I was a client, I, I've, I developed extremely strong bonds with the other clients on the course and some of whom I'm still in touch with today. We continued to meet weekly and then it sort of petered out, but we're still in touch, you know, you know, updating each other on how we're doing. And as a facilitator, I, I, I find it, I mean, I love this area of work because I, I chose this area of work because I find human beings fascinating and unpredictable. And I love working with, with human beings. So for me, all the clients that I've met on, on the course have been extremely interesting and everyone has a story to tell. Everyone has a, a story a reason why they ended up on the course. So I think it's extremely interesting and to see also their evolution from week to week in the 10 week program, how they might come in either extremely angry or tense or nervous or uncomfortable and how you see them little by little relax because the, the course is, although it, it, it makes you transform enormously it's it's de delivered in such an um a way that that it's it's not very stressful so it's it's nearly easy the course if you could say it even though your transformation you know might take time and so you see that the, the the clients over time relax more and more and um feel more and more comfortable about revealing parts of themselves that maybe they would have kept hidden for the rest of their life and opening up and making connections between each other and with the facilitator. So in incredibly enriching and rewarding on, from both points of view, I think. And was there anything you learned on the course that you weren't expecting to, something that really kind of stood out? Yeah, I think the, the, the thing that stood out for me and is still standing out for me today that I still feel like I'm learning about is shadow protection. So I first learned about that on the taster evening before I became a client. And I just found that so incredibly fascinating 
But obviously, you know, you work with children and the, the course is going to inform your work with that going forward. Can you see it inspiring any other angles to your psychological work, coaching work? Well, I hope that to be doing, little by little, to be doing, you know, I, to let go of my work with the small children in the school and to little by little be doing only anger management because I feel it's, you know, it, it, it could change the world, if, if I may. Um, not me on my own, but, you know, all of us out there. Um, I, I would really like that to, to be my full-time occupation. Have you noticed it kind of growing or the demand for it growing or the acknowledgement for it growing and well, it going sort of mainstream? Yes, I think, I think there's, because of the pandemic, I think there's an increasing, increasing demand for it because I think a lot of people are very angry about the last couple of years of their lives and how, you know, changes have been imposed upon them. Um, but it's probably anger that was there anyway, that's just come to the surface with the pandemic. But it's not because, it, I, I don't want to do it so much because the demand is great at the moment. I want to do it because I feel like it can, it can change so many people's lives and make their lives better and make them happier. I feel, personally, I feel like I'm so much happier than I was before I did this course. And so I would like to share that with other people. I think, uh, you know, there's a lot of work being done around the world in, in different areas to Im improve people's well-being, And that this is just one of them. But it's so effective and so transformative, but in such a positive way that I, that I would love to do this full time because I just find it so enriching to see people transform and to to see you know what what you notice a lot when when people first come on the course you know you ask them how they're feeling and they'll say i'm feeling sad or i'm feeling angry or i'm feeling shame or i'm feeling fearful and towards the end of the course most of the time when you ask them how they're feeling they say i'm feeling happy and that's exactly what happened to me so if i can make other human beings happy uh, and make a living out of doing that that's it struck gold Amanda, this has been both highly informative and inspiring. Is there anything else you're bursting to say to uh, to, to tell? Um, I think the only thing I'd say is that that yeah, I feel like Mike Fisher has really transformed my life. Um, one of my friends did the course with him about twenty years ago, and she did the training as well. She became an anger management facilitator, and she told me about him about twenty years ago. And it took me 20 years to arrive where I am today, but yeah, he's transformed my life. And I think, I think his program is absolutely amazing and would, would highly recommend it to, to anyone, either as a client or, or as a trainee to become a facilitator. And like I said, the more we are out there, the more we can transform the world. So that's Mike Fisher you're talking about, who's the founder of the British Association of Definitely. Anger Management and the writer of Beating Anger, a Sunday Times top 10 self-help book and considered the key text worldwide in anger management. And he, of course, takes all the Anger Academy training courses. So if you sign up for Anger Academy, you're learning from the best. And if you do want to Definitely. sign up for Anger Academy, you just head over to Anger dot academy that's all it is on the internet we're going to flash it up on the screen as well amanda thank you so much for joining us and all the very very best of luck in your journey becoming an anger management coach thank you it's been my pleasure